feel very great about it. Uh, we're excited that you know we were able to finish as high as we did. Uh, we have worked very, very hard all season. Um, but in particular, the big turnaround for us was uh, the Thursday after our South Carolina spring break trip. Um, we knew we were finishing up non-conference and we felt like we could have won more matches than what we did. And so uh, we all just kind of had a meeting, decided that we just need to practice better and um, that will better prepare us for a high conference finish. We felt like we had the potential, you know, to finish very high and um, fortunately we were able to do it. My expectations are, you know, are, are very high. I mean, one of, one of our goals was to win the regular season title. We felt like we, uh, we had a chance of doing that. We did come up short. Uh, we got to the finals of the conference tournament last year. Uh, fell a little short as well, so we feel like you know we could win it this year. It's going to take a lot uh, because you're playing um, a single elimination draw, and uh, we played New Orleans first round. I know they're going to be gunning for us more and harder than what we did last week against us. So that'll be a very tough first round, and then Corpus Christi, you know, is always the toughest team to compete against. So. Um, our expectations is to win. We know it's not going to be easy, and we'll just take it uh, one match at a time and see where we end up. A lot of my a lot of my guys have have had good seasons. Um, I've had a few guys that maybe haven't been able to finish maybe a good start that they had at the beginning of the season. Um, but I think you know there's a couple of guys for sure that kind of stand out. Um, our number one player, Nikita Lees, um, has done a great job at line one. But, if, but people need to take note of his doubles and his record. Uh, his spring record, spring record alone, is 17-0. and 0. He has not lost a single match at all in the spring. Go back to the fall season when he played with our number two player, Michael Foich. They were also, if I'm not mistaken, I think they were 14 and two. No, not 14 and two. I think they were nine and two, um, somewhere in that neighborhood. Only lost two matches. So all year, um, Nick's only lost two matches, uh, which is pretty phenomenal. That's very hard to do. Um, I think another another player was his teammate or his doubles partner, Michael Foich, uh, to. Do as well as those two have in doubles. They were at one point they were ranked 29 in the country. Um, they beat the number one team out of Texas A&M, who um, has been as high as number eight in the country. Beat them in the fall. Um, but then also in singles, Michael, um, as well as my freshman Benny Schweitzer, have the best records in the spring. So you know those three guys. Benny has has stepped in. He came in in January. He was a little shaky at first, didn't know what to expect, but could completely turn it around. And I'm fortunate enough that he's playing his best tennis right now, which is the best time of the year. So, uh, you know, I would say those, those three guys are, you know, are, are the ones that have done well, really well, you know, this year, along with all of them. Uh, but those kind of stand out. Uh, you know, it's, it's, and the other thing about those three guys is, they play lines one, two, and three singles. So they're playing the best guys out of all the teams that we have on our schedule. So uh, there's no easy match. Uh, they're playing the, you know, the, the most talented players on the other teams. And for the records to be where they're at and, and get as many wins as we've had in those, those three uh, positions is, is wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's always fun to play at home in front of your fans, um, in front of your friends family if they happen to come in town, sleep in your own bed, go to whatever restaurant that you normally go to when you're at home. Uh, it's just, there's always something special about playing at home. So we're really looking forward to playing in Beaumont this weekend over at Municipal. We know we're gonna get a great crowd out. We're just looking for the community, test community, uh, the Lamar University community to come out. They can just be loud and proud. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that my guys feed off that that excitement and and uh, and support, so it's it does mean a lot. So appreciate you know Jason Henderson and Helene Thiel and Dossie Kreiser really putting that bid in. Um,
you know, it's, it's gonna, I think it's gonna pay dividends. Yeah, you know, New Orleans, um, you know, we beat them on Sunday, um, 6-1, but that was the first time we've beaten New Orleans since I've been the head coach here. Um, coach Conga always has a tough team. Um, they are very experienced. He has five seniors playing in the top five positions and then a freshman at line six. So he has experience. Um, I just, just really, you know, it's, it's conference tournament. It's going to be a great match. It's going to be tough. There's going to be some great points, high emotions. Um, it's going to be hot and humid. So they're going to be used to it. We're going to be used to it. So that shouldn't play too much of a factor, but it'll be tough um, playing against them. There's no doubt about it. 1976 was the last time that Lamar men's tennis has won a championship of any sort. Um, so to ask kind of what it means, you know, clearly we haven't been a part of that, um, you know, been here, but I know that it would definitely mean a lot to us. Um, it would mean a lot to the community um, and a lot of other people that have been involved with the men's tennis program for a long time. So. Uh, we're going to give it our best and be positive and hopefully we get the great crowds that will help us out. We do have a, a deeper, more talented team this year which is going to give us a great shot. So we're just looking forward to it and hopefully we can pull a couple of W's.